Hello and welcome to Datasar. Today I'm going to show you how to add a shopping cart website at connect.datasar.com. So go to datasar.com. We're going to click the login button. And we're already logged in. That takes us to dashboard on the main menu. And to work on the website, we're going to click on the website button. Now, for your domain, your primary website, um, we're going to be using high class travel today. This is our primary website. We're going to add a subdomain to this, and we're going to create a shopping cart website for the subdomain. Um, these are the editing tools for the primary website. We're not going over those today, but let's look at our high class traveled website. And we created this post at a shopping cart website. And there's a couple reasons why. If you need an online store with multiple items to sell, you know, you need an e-commerce website. If you're looking to add items to sell and you want the convenience of an online store, those are the reasons. And then these are the steps that we're going to go over with today. And by the way, all of these steps that we're going to be covering, you can find them not on High Class Traveled. You can find them on help.datazar.com. So make sure you, um, to find these instructions, if you're not watching it on our help site, go to help.datasar.com, click on website help, and you can find these instructions. And then also in the written instructions, you're going to, we're going to, we had a link, a link to one of our other, um, tutorials, how to add a subdomain, but these are the written instructions. Also how to add links to your website, because you're going to link your subdomain to your primary domain. So. Let's tab over. Let's get started. We started on the dashboard. We went to the website button on the main menu. And then once you're on the website button, you're going to see where it says websites right here. And then there's a, a plus sign where you can add a website and there's a drop down. Now adding a website is different from adding a domain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the website. So click the drop down and we're going to create a shopping cart website. Um, Let's go ahead and click on that. So click on create shopping cart website and let's add a name. Shop, oops, hike less traveled. We're going to create that. And like magic, it all happens. So we created the shopping cart website. You're going to choose how many products you want to sell. If it's five or less, it's zero per month. A hundred products, up to a hundred products is $15 per month. Up to 2,500 is $35 and unlimited is $99. We're going to stick with the free option up to five products. And uh, let's go ahead and click back on the website button. And you'll see now our primary domain is here. And our shop hike list traveled, no domain yet, is here. If you don't want to create a subdomain, you can move your primary domain down here to your shop shopping website. And the way that you're going to do that, and the way that you're going to create the subdomain, either to adjust the hosting or to create a subdomain, you're going to click on the domains button. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now, we actually have two domains. We have hikes, hike less travel, and we have hikes less travel. They're just similar spelling. But whether you have one or two or more domains, just click on the settings button off to the right of your domain. So we're going to click on that. And, and then, so for our hikelesstravel.com, we're going to click on hosting. And if we were to choose not to create a subdomain, we can just host highclesstravel.com, our primary domain, click edit, click the drop down, and we could host it straight on our shopping cart website. And that's all we would have to do. So when people go to your primary domain, it takes them straight to your shopping cart site. However, we have another, we have a different way of doing that. And the different way of doing that is to create a subdomain. And if you create a subdomain, for example, we're going to create shop.highclesstravel.com and we're going to have that go straight to our shopping cart website and then we can link that to our primary domain. So let's go ahead and create the subdomain and shop highclesstravel.com and here's where you adjust hosting. There's another drop down right over here to the right and we're going to host our subdomain on our shop, shop highclesstraveled and we're going to 
click on Create Add Subdomain. So we just added the subdomain, and if we go back to the Website button, you'll see now we have our primary domain and we have our subdomain, the shop highclistravel.com. And as I mentioned, we can go back to highclistravel.com, our primary domain. We can create, let's just go here real quick. We click on the edit button. We can go to pages right here. We can um, click the drop down right here. And we can create a link in the top menu right here by clicking that. I'm going to show you a video how to do this. We're not going to do this right now. I'm going to show you a video on that. And or you can go to your home page, click on the edit or any of these pages and add the link within the page. So let's go back to the website button real quick. This is the subdomain we created. This is the shopping cart website that we created. We're going to click on the control panel for the shopping cart website. And now this is a whole separate website builder. And uh, don't let it scare you because it gives you these steps right here. And you just take these steps one at a time. So set up your storefront and you go in there, you edit the site. In here, you do your site appearance, your site content. It's very easy. You just follow these steps. You can go down here. You can do the payment option. Um, you can add a Stripe, Square, PayPal. You can set up your shipping and pickup. So if you're going to ship, you ship your pickup. You pick out UPS, FedEx, and so forth. Um, so let me get out of here. Let's go back to go back a couple times here. Back to connect. Okay, so we're back on connect. We're on the website button now. We talked about the domains button, adjusting the hosting. So you create your website on the website button. You adjust your hosting on the domains button. And then I mentioned that we have a couple of other tutorial videos. Um, go to the help button on the main menu. And if you go to our help center and you click on website help, um, how to add a subdomains right here add links to your websites right here. So you can find those, let's just tab back over, on the help button there. So anyway, let's go back to dashboard. Don't forget about the written instructions. And that's it. That's how to add a shopping cart website with Datazar Connect.